Are you having a special breakfast? Are you? What's that made? Wow. Is that your food with banana and apple? Are you excited? Are you waiting nicely? <laughs> you waited nicely. Good boy. Okay. Whoa. What's all that? Do you not know where it starts? Oh, you start with the bananas. That's an apple, I think. Is it? Oh my god, does he like apple more than banana? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is Oakley's birthday. Uh, really quickly, I'm just going to address my eyelashes. I am very, very, very embarrassed vlogging with my eyelashes like this. I'm sure I've already talked about it in a video that went up already, but this, it, like, things are in a weird order. So this is the first one I'm filming since we had COVID. Uh, my sister's just stopped replying to me and I can't get my lashes fixed. So I'm very, very embarrassed about how I look, but I'm filming because Oakley's birthday present just came. We didn't think it was gonna come on time. We've only got him one thing this year because we're on a bit more of a budget and he needed a bed like he needed a bed his bed that we got when he was younger is completely like ripped it's it's he, he dug in it and it's all ripped apart so we got him a new bed and we only ordered it on friday yeah. and it said three to five working days but it's actually came on his birthday so that is why i'm kind of like filming when i'm not dressed already because we really want to open it. So we he's, have he's bought, very excited. he's very excited as well because it's Kim. Ignore this box because that's just from something else. This is it. And he's just very, very interested. Should we put it on the floor? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Let him tug some off. You pull it. You ready? Pull it. Oh, good job. Wow. You gotta pull. Keep pull. Wow. Yay. Wow. Right, that's enough because you'll. Hey. <laughs> Oi. Right, Oakley. Can you drop? Good boy. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that's sticky as hell. So, this is the one that we've been using. <laughs> Um, but we want that one for the kitchen and this is a bit, this is a bit bigger. What is it? Are you excited? Whoa. You ready? Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> He's like prancing about. That's not a sit. Wow. Is that your new bed? No, you're not biting it. Wow. Do you like it? Look at him, so handsome. So this is the Silent Night orthopedic pet bed we wanted one like yeah oh do you like it we wanted one that had a bit of like a harder side than hang on i'm going to show you what his one his old one looks like than this one which is just a pet at home one because this is really really soft and this came off so basically he dug underneath it and ripped it so we wanted one that had a bit of a harder side because he's recently, when he's been using that one, he's been like rolling it up and then putting his head like on the rolls and using that as a bit of a pillow. So we wanted one with sides so we could do that if he wanted. And we also wanted one that didn't have like that removable pillow. So <laughs> he's doing it already. Do you like it? <laughs> 
and this one doesn't and this is orthopedic this is probably one of the most affordable ones that we found I did have a look on Etsy I'm sorry you're not going to see my face a lot today because of the eyelashes thing I'll just keep you on Oakley because that's what everybody wants to see anyway we I wanted to get one off Etsy and I kind of wanted like a hard shell one like made out of wood but they were just so incredibly expensive like you were looking at spending like 150 quid and we just don't have that money at the minute <laughs> uh, 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 so I had a look around and we actually found this one on Argos and then I found a few other ones we also looked at the Jules Velvet one there was, what was the other ones? Oh, there was another one from Argos that was like the burrowing ones where yeah. it has like the lid over the top. But we weren't sure, don't bite it. Yeah, don't bite it, good job. We weren't sure, no, <laughs> whether he would actually like burrow into it. And then we found a wooden one off a, like a, just a website off Google. And that was actually more affordable. But in the end, we decided we liked this one the most. And this one was, it was 85 on Argos, but then I actually looked on Silent Night and they were selling it for 65. Or was it 60? I think it was six, 68. I don't think it was. No. Anyway, it was, about, it was a lot cheaper than on Argos. So we literally just bought it from Silent Night. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting used to it. You're too excited about the new smells. Yeah, carefully knocking the furniture off. So I literally bought it off Silent Night and it was free shipping as well and it came very, very quickly. All the reviews were great. It came in like three different sizes. This is a large. A medium would have been fine, but someone on the Silent Night website actually put on a picture of their Springer in the medium and I just didn't like the look of it. Like they were like completely <laughs> covering the bed, whereas I wanted him to have a little bit more room. And like I said, this is meant to be orthopedic, so it's good for his bones, even though he's only two today, I still want him to um, be comfortable. So I quite, what do you think of it? I quite like it. Yeah, I really yeah, like it too. It doesn't go with the room. I don't have to dog bags off and do like Yeah, it. that's the thing, but it was really hard to find one to go with the room. And I'd rather him be comfortable than try and like wait out for one that went with the room. The Jules black velvet one would have went, mm -hmm. but I think it might have pushed, it's just, it was a different vibe and then th this seemed like it was better for him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the material is really nice. It is a bit softer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, uh, uh. Um, but the material is really nice and that's really nice as well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's his birthday present. I know, baby, I know. And you stick on the bottom as well. Yeah, and it's machine washable as well. Yeah, the, whole, the whole cover comes off and you can uh, wash it. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey! Uh, no. See, that's better already, because when he... <laughs> when he did that with his other one, it would literally just, like, flip over his head, yeah. wouldn't it? This one gives it more resistance. Wow! And he prefers flat beds, I think we've found out, because he absolutely loves that mattress one. This is, if you've been around since the puppy haul, this is the one since we've, um... Pet life home? It was from Pet at Home. This yeah. is the one we've had since then. Um, wash, but... Yeah, it needs a wash, but we were waiting until we got this. But he loves that one compared to his, like, big fluffy ones. So, hopefully, you'll like this one. Are you happy? Do you like your new bed? Do you like it? You're not sure? I think you like it. Like you'll have to be careful that you're not digging on it. He looks so handsome on it. Yeah. <laughs> so the plan is, I'll bite the bullet and put it on my face. We are gonna go out for a walk, like with on his long line. Uh, we wanted to go to Thrunton, which is where we went last year. If you were here around then, we did vlog it. <laughs> but, Thrunton isn't a thing anymore. It's really really sad when we had all the big storms basically The majority of the trees came down at Thrunton and it is completely Unrecognizable there isn't a path because all the paths are like completely gone Which is very very sad. So we can't go to Thrunton. So the plan is we're gonna go to Swarland where there is a forestry England Site and it's actually right next to our caravan So we know it quite well and there is a cute little cafe there and I saw a picture of a cake 
on their Instagram yesterday and the cake looked incredible. So I think we're gonna go there for some <laughs> lunch. <laughs> we're gonna go there for some lunch and then go for a walk on his long line. The thing is with Swaland, it's all kind of like sheltered, kind of like Thornton was, so even if it starts raining, it should be okay. But at the minute, we're just watching New Girl and uh, we're gonna head up there soon and I'm starting to get ready. I just wanted to film because we really wanted to give him the bed. So that's the plan for today. He's had his special breakfast and we're gonna take a Kong for him when we're at the cafe. So hopefully it's a nice day for him. Okay, we have just pulled up to Nelson's. So this is where we are. So the cafe's in that building and we're gonna go sit outside because we are hungry. We have brought him a Kong with banana in it and we are gonna eat because I'm very hungry. Right, ready? Let us go. Very good boy. You're being a very good boy. Yeah. You're watching the ball. You're being a good boy. We have our food. My mouth is full of food because I'm very hungry. Chocolate jack potato, I've got toasty. And Oakley has this Kong. He's a little bit interested because we're filming. Oh, you look at his dad. But he's got his con. We are still here and um, we are getting some dessert because that's the real reason I wanted to come here. Jack has got his, I'm just waiting. And Oakley is behaving so well. He's doing so good. He's just been lying down and he's a very good boy. I'm so proud of him. I was just saying to Jack, I feel like he has finally started to calm down a little bit. I know that's a bit kind of like, probably not because he's only two, but he definitely feels like he's starting to calm a little bit. And it's not like specific training and stuff we've done with him. like because we've been away and then COVID and stuff. So I definitely feel like he is starting to calm down and it's very exciting. We went to the beach with him this week and it went really, really well, which we haven't been able to go to the beach with him since he was- Six months old. Yeah, like six like months because of, he used to eat all the seaweed. He used to behave really, really badly at the beach. And then we've been able to do this and look at him. Oh, <laughs> the table clangs. But he, he did have his head just on the floor there. He's all relaxed. He's honestly, I'm so proud of him. That shows how well the beach went the other day because we're thinking we're taking him back today, aren't we? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. If we've got time, I think we're going to go back to the beach because he just, like I say, it was the first time that we've went since he was like six months and it was just, he looked so freaking happy, didn't he? Like we hit the soft sand and he just went mental. So we might go there today as well. Look at this cake. Oh, I'm in love. It's Biscoff. Jack got the Bakewell blondie and little man's doing very very good still right we are out we are in the woods um oakley is finally doing the thing that he wants to do yay good job baby that's got good it boy. we um we had a bit of a rough start <laughs> is we haven't done a woods walk in quite a while and he gets so distracted here like obviously mm. very very reasonably because there is just so many sm smells so we had a bit of a rough start where he wasn't coming back when we called him so I had to walk him by my side for a little bit because we do it in a way of if he doesn't come back like pretty much straight away when he does come back like from good yes. job sorry I'm just making a big deal this will make good sense job. in a sec um, yeah, we, if he doesn't come back straight away, we'll get him in, obviously because he's on his long line, we get him in and then he has to walk like, what's it called? Heel. He has to walk in a heel position. Yeah. Good boy! Oh, here you go. Oh, here you go. So he had to walk like that for a while and then he's not been checking in with us at all, which he's I thought it was raining there, uh, which he is brilliant at when we do his field walks and when we went to the beach he was checking in loads and he's been doing none of that so Oakley no, Come on. good boy when he's been checking in, yes good boy I've been giving him his high value treat because I think he's just too distracted yeah like there's just too much smells so we've been giving him the sausages and he's been, he's been doing better, but he looks super, super happy. You happy? Oakley. Hi. Oakley. Oh, yes, happy? good boy. Good Here you go. And another one. Good boy. Oh, find it. Find it. You've got this. Good job. Okay. We've came across a few dogs 
and it's all been okay so far because if you are new to the channel I don't like dogs coming up to Oakley because when he was younger he had quite a lot of dogs like run bound enough to him and it scared him a bit and I just I don't think dogs should say hello to each other unless like the owners have agreed to it so it's been fine so far which is really really good it's really really positive and yeah it was just a bit of a rough start but he seems to be doing a bit better now using the sausage we use these like chicken sausages from pets at home so hopefully it gets a bit better <laughs> He's just had a drink and soaked the boot. <laughs> um, it went mixed. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're back at the car now. I don't know how far of a walk we did. I don't know. I'll have to try we'll to have figure to figure it out. out. Not sure what the plan is now. We'll discuss it and then I'll catch you up. Okay, I'm a bit of a mess, but I think the cap has like made my hair like completely flat and sweaty. <laughs> anyway, we were gonna go at the beach, but. We are thinking he's not behaving great. I don't have that many treats left. So, we're thinking not. That walk, we think, was about three mile. Jack thinks it's three and a half, I think it's about three. So, he's done quite a lot of exercise. So the plan is, we are hoping we can go to my mama's and he can go play about with Sky because his favorite thing, in, not Sky. Molly. <laughs> His favourite thing is to go and play with my grandparents' dog. He absolutely loves it. So we are thinking he can do that and then he can be off lead because at the beach he'd be back on his long line. So if we go to my grandparents, he can go and just play off, off lead with other dogs and without us trying to make them be all well behaved. We don't know if we can yet. My mama uh, is busy washing her hair so I can't ask her. So I think we're going to head that way because we live quite close to my grandparents are anyway and she's gonna ring me back so I think we're gonna head that way and see if we can if not we'll probably just go home yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> back home we have picked up Anandos for our tea and Oakley is about to do his tea he is doing <laughs> snuffle he is wait I'm sorry it looks red this light is not orange but it looks incredibly orange on the camera the we are doing snuffle for his tea he loves doing snuffle he loves enjoy like using his nose he's waiting very nicely I know mom's talking to no one and you just want your tea but you gotta wait till dad comes in so yeah, he's about to have his tea. He had a great time playing with Molly and playing with some bubbles. Uh, we kind of stayed back from them. Uh, trigger warning, I'm going to mention sickness. Uh, I'll not talk about it loads because this is one of my trigger warnings. So, um, My grandparents have had a bug that my family have had. So we kind of just stayed back and didn't go in and didn't touch the dogs and stuff. Because if you are new, I am very very emetophobic like like I'm panicking already that I'm gonna be ill like I'm I'm very very bad with it so 
You're fine. I know, I know. I'm trying not to panic. I feel a little bit sick and I think it's because I'm like really, really hungry and I'm, I'm panicking. But anyway, we kind of just stayed back and didn't stay too long. Well, how long were we there for? Like half an hour? Maybe closer to an hour. Really? Yeah, like 45 minutes maybe. Right. Felt like it was like a lockdown era again. You know, when we could meet people outside yeah. and we used to just go stand in their garden. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was it was fine. It was nice that he got to see Molly and run around and everything. Apparently Molly's been like really missing him because obviously Oakley was there while we were on holiday. And Molly is the youngest of the three cockers that my grandparents have. And Oakley was there for a week when we were on holiday and then when we got COVID, after I, basically after I filmed that video, we decided that he needed, no, was it the day after I filmed that video? I think, I'm not sure, we decided that it wasn't fair for him to stay here whilst we weren't allowed to leave the house and my grandparents came and picked him up. So he was there for like another three days and then he came home. So apparently Molly has been missing him loads because he, she's kind of more on his like level, Top isn't she? Whereas the two older girls, they are just the chillest Cocker Spaniels I've ever met. Like they are not, they're not typical Cocker Spaniels at all. Uh, so. Molly. So there's an example today. Willow just sat and watched them play. She just sat. She literally, like, it sounds so silly, but she literally just sits in a garden whilst there is a lie down. You can have it in a second. Whilst there is opportunity to be running about and stuff, she will literally just sit and watch them. But Molly is a hundred percent on his. So apparently, Molly's been trying to get like Sky to play with her, and she just won't. So. Apparently Molly's been missing him, so it's nice that she got to see him and he got to see her. So yeah, we're gonna have some tea. I think that's probably gonna be it for the birthday stuff, to be completely honest. Uh, he's probably gonna sleep. It's been lovely, he's been asleep. He's had so much activity today and training as well, so it's been lovely. So he's probably just gonna sleep. So I think that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was probably a little bit like different to last year's where he got to like open his presents and stuff, but it's just, it's not on, the, it wasn't on the cards this year and I think it's been a really nice day. He got his present. Yeah, he got a pre he got a present and he got to he loves the woods. Like he absolutely loves the woods. So I think it's been a nice day. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and comment and all the engagement stuff that is necessary to grow a YouTube channel. Please do all of them. But thank you so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.